Hi there, it's Graham from Mergley Ventures, and today we're going to talk about buzz bars, and in particular, the Blue C1. So, we've got a buzz bar here, it's from Blue C, it's rated at 130, 150 amps DC, and 130 amps AC. So uh, why would we want one and why would we need one in the upgrade of our van? Subscribe uh, to the program. I will show you how I install these later on in life. But today I'm going to explain why we have one and what they're about. We have got a lot of supplies coming from or to our batteries, uh, particularly in terms of charging or in terms of the earth arrangements or the grounding cables. I will use something called a buzz bar, where all these inputs are connected securely onto one common rail. And from that common rail, I can supply a battery or off to something else. And here is the Blue Sea version. Again, this is a top of the range kind of stuff. It's not the cheapest on the market, um, but it is certified by the uh, American yachting organizations, the uh, uh, ABYC. And I think the American Coast Guard. So it's a very high quality uh, piece of kit. So let's have a look inside the packaging. It's heavy duty plastic. Fortunately, it just pulls open. You don't need a pair of scissors. And there are two pieces inside. Firstly, there is an information sheet from this, uh, from Blue Sea. And it tells me that it is uh, 130 amps AC or rated for 150 amps DC. We will not be using a buzz bar in an AC setup, and I don't think there are any scenarios where I would advocate using a buzz bar for an AC setup within our camper vans or RVs. But we will be using it in the DC environment, and that means I've now got 150 amps to play with with this unit. On the back, there are some information about the torquing of the nuts, which is the tightness that you can apply, and the sizing and dimensions of the unit itself. So what we have here is four studs uh, in stainless steel, stainless steel nuts at least, with a uh, split washer hanging underneath. You need a 13 millimeter spanner to undo these nuts. And I suspect it's also a half inch if it's the American version. Yes, yeah, half inch. So half inch spanner or 13 mil spanner. So I will use this in a very simple way. Uh, if you can see from the diagram below, which is an example from my design tool, you will see that I now have um, a connection from the positive of my DC to DC charger, a positive from my solar controller, a positive out to the fuse block, for the services that I'm going to run and a connection to the battery bank isolator. I'm yet decided to how I connect the inverted charger because that is the 200 amp output, which is more than the rating of this buzz bar. It may just go straight to the batteries with that through a fuse. So that's it very simply. Uh, we'll secure it with two bolts onto a bulkhead we will run our cables to this uh, and attach them and torque them up uh, as, as required. Now they are an M6, I think they'll take an M6 uh, size contact, but probably you'll use an M8 because that's the size of the cables and the size of the connector that you'll end up using. And that, that just connects just nicely too. So very, very simple, makes life very easy because it's uh, putting your circuits all aligned in a single place to pull them together. Now, subscribe and later videos, I will show you how I have installed this in my 4x4 Sprinter as I've upgraded the 12 volt system. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, my name's Graham and this is Mogul Adventures. Bye bye.